Uh, today in the valley, we, it's known as Red Friday. Back a, during the Afghanistan mission, two military wives, Lisa Miller and Karen Boyer, started a tradition that spread right across Canada that is wearing red on Friday to remember the soldiers every week who gave their lives and spilled their blood in Afghanistan. How can that member over there stand under the pretext of representing military families when today her minister admitted to withdrawing the CF-18s before putting other proper protection in place? The best way to ensure that the military families are taken care of is to ensure that their soldiers, their loved ones, come home all in one piece. Well, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Veterans Affairs. Mr. Speaker. I am a military family. I am a military family. And using cheap political rhetoric to score points on the backs of military families is way below the dignity that, deserve, that is deserving of this House. That is absolutely unacceptable. And the honest thing with Mr. Speaker, I got splashed yesterday, and my nice gray suit that I normally wear with my red shirt, well, I'm afraid it was unsuitable for being worn this morning, Mr. <laughs> Speaker. Sometimes those kind of things just happen. But, Mr. Speaker, I have been to Afghanistan. I have flown the skies of Afghanistan. I have driven the roads. I know what it takes to make these kind of missions a success. Canada, this coalition, this coalition, this coalition needs Canada's leadership in these follow-on phases because without it, we will not be able to secure and safeguard the, the progress that we have always made. This is Canada's role. This is the kind of leadership this coalition me means, and we are stepping up to the plate to provide it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.